Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. The Paraclaw uh, buckle is making a return. We're doing another Paraclaw uh, bracelet. So a bracelet that uses this awesome uh, buckle that has a hidden blade in it. Really cool. Uh, if you're looking for where to get this buckle, you can check out my uh, links down below. I've got links to that. So we did a tutorial on how to do the King Cobra uh, Paraclaw. This one is the Trilobite. So that's what we're doing today. And uh, yeah, the way it closes is through these, through these two loops. Um, as you saw, it's a little, it can be a little bit of struggle if you want to use both loops to close it because normally this is meant to be uh, closed with a single loop. So if that's too bothersome, you can always just close it with one loop, which looks a little weird, I know. Um, so example, if you use one loop, you can just slide it on like that. Looks a little odd, but it's fine. Um, but if again, nothing wrong with having the two loops. It's even more secure that way. And you really, if you're you know out and about, you probably don't want this to be too um, unsecure or insecure. Okay, so yeah, it's the Trilobite Paraclaw bracelet. Hope you guys will like this tutorial. Uh, huge thank you to all my Patreon patrons again. Um, we just released the um, exclusive video for the month of January, and also did the giveaway. So if you guys are interested in what I do on Patreon, feel free to uh, check out those links uh, annotated in this video and down below as well. All right, guys. So uh, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to set up this bracelet on my jig, um, you don't have to use a jig, but it'll be a lot easier if you do. I've got my um, Paraclaw buckle attached here. And uh, thanks to this jig, it's got two nails here that can kind of just hold it in place. So I'm going to put that right there. Then now I've got my uh, paracord and I'm using really nice bright orange, which would be great for um, survival because you'll never lose it. So I've got, um, so I've got my length of paracord doubled over in the middle. I'm just gonna use my knotter's tool and I'm just going to push it through, push it through the little bottom gap here, like so. And then we're going to pull that loop through and we're going to create a uh, cow's hitch. Like so, and then bring that all the way up and just tie, cinch that up. So you don't need to pull it too tight because we have to go back up to the top here. Let's see in a sec. So now we're going to, I'm just going to move my jig over so you can see. So now from here, I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to put it through the two nails here and then I'm going to bring both strands back up to the top. See, so I've got both strands on either side like so. Like that. I'm going to bring this one back up. I'm going to loop this around and bring this back up so that we go back up to the top. Like that. Okay. So we've got both strands here. And now from here, what I'm going to do is starting with this strand on the right, I'm going to I'm just going to get this on my fid to make it a bit easier. Just take that strand on the right. Just put it right through the cow's hitch here. Bring that through one side, like so. Okay, so got it through the cow's hitch on one side. And then we're going to do the same on the other strand. So bring this up, of course, again, just to make it easier, use the fid. Put it through the top here and out the other side. Okay, and then pull that tight. And there we go. So now we have our four core strands. And we are ready to start weaving the trilobite. Okay, so to start weaving the trilobite, we're going to start with the left strand. We're going to go over, under, and then over, like so, okay? And then with the opposite strand, we're going to go behind, 
I'm going to go, go under, over the middle, and then under. Okay. I'm going to pull that up. Cinch it up to the top. Now, um, easy way to think about this is whichever strand, or not to get confused, if it's on this side, you're always going to go around. And this side, because it's under, you're going to go over. So again, we'll go over, under, and over, like so. And on the right side, behind, under, over, and under, like that, okay? And then pull that tight and push it up. And see, there we go, trial bite starting to form. So again, one more time, left, over, under, over, and the right side, under, over the middle, then under. See? That's super simple. Okay, pull it tight and push it up. So that is the pattern. Quite simple on this one. So under, over, under, and the right side, under, bring it over the middle and under. So continue this pattern and go all the way down your bracelet. And when we get to the end, we will uh, figure out how we can finish this one off. Okay, so I wove down to the end of my bracelet and I've left just a little bit of space here because um, this is where our brace is gonna hook onto. So I've got fids on both my working strands. Now, this side, is the uh, side you, you're gonna be wearing. It's gonna be touching your skin. So on this bottom um, strand, what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm just going to you know, feed it around this side and then I'm gonna tuck it underneath maybe three of these strands right here, like so. so pull that through and that should look okay. So tuck that under, and on this side, because we're already on this side, we don't need to wrap it around again. Just, again, go under three, three or four, it's up to you, of these um, knots here. Just keep everything untangled. And there we go. So for this, um, just snip them. You don't have to melt them if you don't want to. Um, in fact, it might be more comfortable not to, to uh, melt them. Just uh, if you tied it tightly enough, it should stay and um, you know, it won't come undone. Okay, and there we have it. We are done. So, uh, as I showed you earlier, the way to link this one on. So I just snipped it um, just to keep it more comfortable. I didn't melt it. It should be fine because uh, these knots are pretty tight. And uh, as I showed you earlier, to close it, you can just kind of loop it through both of the, um, the loops there. And that's your closure, right? If you want it to uh, be easier to get on and off, you can always just loop it through one of the loops. And it's, it's just as secure. Of course, it looks a little weird to be off center like that. So if that bothers you, you can always just loop it onto both. And yeah, that is it, guys. That is the Paraclaw Trilobite. And uh, just another way to use your paraclaw para uh, buckle with the hidden blade. So super cool feature. Um, definitely something you might want to have with you if you're um, really into that survival thing. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys uh, like this video, you want to see more. If you're not subscribed already, feel free to hit that subscribe button and uh, tick that bell icon so you know when I release videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you think of it down below and feel free to hit that like button. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.